Welcome back. This tutorial is on the magnetic field shaping coils, those uh, rectangular boxy things under the front of the warp engines. If you like these tutorials or find them helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, and then click the notification bell icon to be notified when I post new tutorials. Hey everybody, we're going to be working on what I think they call the shaping coils uh, on those three rectangular-ish things underneath the warp engines. Um, I always thought that those would be uh, better thought of as like the ion pods that Ben Finney was supposed to have died in. But in any case, uh, here's a shot from, of course, Chris Trice, excellent work, which shows these things they've got rounded edges and they're kind of smoothish and it's hard to see here but they're not really flat it's not like a a box um so and i always wanted to do a decent one of these here's another angle again thank you chris a closer up shot and you can see that it matches the curve of the hull both top and bottom <clears throat> They've got a more flattened, longer extension in the back. And then we've got two kind of close-up shots. You can see it's kind of <clears throat> curved. And here they are laying on a table. So, <clears throat> I mean, they're not really square. They're kind of box-ish. All right, so uh, let's fire up a uh, blender and open our tutorial file. Now, I'm going to go to my top fifth layer, which is completely unused, and I'm going to go to Control-7 and take a look at the bottom here. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you how I placed this cursor. Let's go back to where I've got my warp engine right now. I've got it in layer 2. I'm going to zoom in on the front uh, face of my my warp engine. I'm going to highlight it, tab to enter uh, edit mode. I'm going to grab right mouse. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Sorry. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to right mouse click to select any one vertice. I'm going to hit hold down my alt key and right mouse click and pick an adjoining vertex and it will pick it will select all of the vertices in in the circle here so now I'm not actually going to do much with it but i'm going to hit shift s and ask to bring the cursor my 3d cursor to the selected what it'll do is it'll pick a midpoint for all of those i'm going to hit a to deselect <clears throat> tab out and i'm going to go back to five all right why? I just want to make sure that I can rotate things around the outside here. Um, and we're going to start off with a, uh, a very simple thing. We're going to go to Mesh and add a plane. I'm going to go to 3, rotate 90, go back to 1, Z to make it transparent, and I'm going to scale this down. So, Great stuff. I'm going to turn on bounding box center for now. Grab this and bring it here. Now, here's the thing. You grab this, grab Z, and bring it up. Okay. Let's zoom in a little here. Since these things are round, here, let's go, go to three. These things are round, just like the warp engine is round. All right, and actually an awful lot of people just make a rectangle and put it in place. And, and I have actually done something like that as well. I don't wish to at this point. I'm going to tab out of this, and I'm going to hit Shift and click number two again. That way I can see my warp engine. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm pretty much on the lines, and going in a little bit doesn't bother me at all. All right, so that's fine going to grab X and bring this down here. All right, so that's close enough. 
All right, I'm going to tab back into it, A to deselect, B to pick these vertices back here, grab X, and move it back so it's approximately the correct length. But you'll notice it's now away from my hull. So I'm going to grab Z, move that just up so that it's just inside. All right, so there will be no gap. And it's... Uh, inside here as well, but it's uh, inside too much. So A to deselect, B just to pick these first two, grab Z, and move it down like that. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to grab this vert, G, and move it to there. That's nice. And we're going to do the same here. Grab this vert, G, and move it to it's about here. Okay, we've got the basic shape, but if I go to three, it's you know perfectly in the center, and of course that's certainly not the final shape that we want. So go back to three, A to deselect everything, A to reselect everything, and I'm gonna go from bounding box center to 3D cursor. Now remember, we placed our 3D cursor up here in the center of our warp engine. So I'm now going to rotate this, these verts, right, to about here. Now, we're going to have to eventually change this orientation because this is straight to the center, and you'll notice that this actually flares out a little bit on the sides. So we'll take care of that in a minute. But we've selected all of our verts, and I'm going to spin them. I'm going to spin them 28 degrees and with six steps. So if you haven't got that, go ahead, type in six, type in 28 degrees, and you'll get something very similar to this. Now I'm going to change from our 3D cursor to bounding box center, and I'm going to rotate these selected until they're about the same plane as this. But I want it on the outside, so I'm going to go back to 3D cursor, rotate, and I'm going to grab this and just move it out a little bit. Great stuff. Matches the edge, and I'm going to do the same over here. C, I'm just going to select all of these verts. I'm going to go back to bounding box center, rotate. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go to 3D Cursor, R for Rotate, and there we go. Okay, I'm going to hit Z, and I want to take a look at this. So we've got pretty much the right shape, but if I was to tab out, it's not very elegant. It, it doesn't look like one thing. It looks like several. We need to increase the resolution of the unit, but if you just increase the resolution of this. Like say, go to uh, modifiers and add a subdivision surface and let's, uh, let's tab out. That does not look right at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some control lines on here. Um, this is going to sound weird. If you have more lines in one place than another, you can kind of control what happens with subdivision surface. So I'm going to hit Control R, left mouse click, and bring my line of edges right up against, real close to the front here. A. I'm going to do the same back here. Okay, that's not bad. Now, what's going to seem even stranger is I'm going to do it on both of the outer edges as well. So Control R. And Control R. Now I know that looks like it hasn't done much. 
But let's go to that subdivision surface again. And tab out. You know what? That doesn't look bad. And if we go to smooth, it looks great. So I'm actually going to tab out, apply this, tab back in, select everything, and I'm going to go through my normal stuff. I'm going to uh, let's see here. I had moved that up before. Remove doubles. There we go. Remove doubles. There should be none. Okay, great. Mesh. Face. Oh, normals. There we go. Recalculate outside. Tab. And look at that. We've got a nice, smooth object with rounded corners. Let's look at it from the front. It fits the profile of what we want rather nicely. I'm going to go to our materials. I'm going to grab the uh, hull gray. Right? And I'm going to uh, shift D. Make sure that we are on that 3D cursor here. I'm going to rotate, uh, I think that's negative 49, and shift D, rotate negative 49. And that looks like it matches up with Alan's drawings. If I go to Control 7 and Z, they line up perfectly. And I think we're done. Great job, guys. Um, don't forget to save your work. So file, save. <clears throat> and if we bring everything else back in. And I've got to have a... Let's see how that looks. Ah, it's on the warp engine. I'm going to render this out and I'll... I'll come back when the render is finished. Okay, this is finishing up, and those look ten times better than anything I made, even for my own uh, previous uh, Starship efforts. Those really look good. So we're going to end uh, this tutorial here, and uh, next time we will come back, we will cut those three divots around the front of the uh, warp engine and put in the... Uh, leather snaps. All right, guys. Again, don't forget to save your work. File save. And uh, keep going. Great job.